In this video, we will test Star Citizen F317.2's 3 brand new vehicle, the Envil Centurion. Since there was a Jumped On 2 event happening, we decided to take a couple of them to the battlefield to try them out in a real, non-scripted combat situation. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Eradicator, and today I'll be playing with a group of people from the Erat Club or Discord channel that you can join right now. The link is in the description down below, and players that we found in the server. And we decided to secure Jun Town for ourselves because that's what this event is all about. And to do so, I concocted a grand plan that should, in theory, have given us unquestionable superiority over any other rival group trying to take over the area from us. We would carry two Centurions in a C2 Hercules and use the ship as a transport for our contraband packages, while the air would be secured by a fully crewed Karak and a two-man Scorpius. What could possibly go wrong? So, of course, when we arrived, there were already some people skirmishing in single-seat crafts, and as they gauged the firepower that we brought with us, they figured out it was in their best interest to withdraw from the area, rather than to mess with us. And while this was disappointing as far as this show is concerned, it was, of course, the best thing to do. In Star Citizen, death can, be, uh, can bring some undesirable consequences, and when the odds play against you, you should not tend the devil and run to fight another day. Well, at least, that meant that we had plenty of time to deploy our anti-air assets and send some people, me in this case, to retrieve the precious packages. It wasn't that long until I started hearing the howl of the Centurion's massive size 4 laser repeaters, and since the event hadn't stopped yet, of course there were some people who were attracted by the prospect of making a quick, juicy profit. But the two anti-air vehicles were a terrifying threat for the single crafts that dare venturing into our no-fly zone. The trespassers were either quickly driven away or eradicated. Oh, they're shooting. What are we looking at here? What ship is that? <laughs> this is epic. That's Centurion. Those Centurions are epic. They cannot do anything. Unfortunately, as always, all good things must come to an end, and so did our reign over Jumptown. Eventually, an Ares Iron came and was able to destroy our Centurions easily thanks to its longer range. This is where we were hoping our Karak with its Scorpius would help, but... It crashed into a mountain along with its escort fighter, and both ships had not been able to return on time. And of course, it felt painful to see that brilliantly planned operation being thwarted by a single ship, but I was glad to see the developers balancing in action. It was that old game of rock, scissor, paper all over again. And uh, I think that if only we had a ballista with us, we could have fired some missiles. And this here shows how important it is to combine different vehicles to be effective in various combat situations. Anyway, guys, this is how the mission ended. I was eventually nuked for good measure. Of course, an A2 came, <laughs> a random A2 came and nuked uh, the hell out of me. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Have you used a Centurion in the game? How would you capture Jumptown? This is to get a chance to win a Centurion. Of course, all you have to do is to subscribe to the channel and answer the question that I'm just asking right now. Also, feel free to join us on Discord. We've got two more Centurions as well. All you have to do is to be uh, joining our video show sharing contest on Discord, or you can also be a Patreon or a YouTube job member. Guys, thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to Captain Steak, Geek Citizen, Eric, Old Dr. Fabian, and the Digiton. It's the Eradicator. I will see you guys later.